Welcome to another captivating episode of The Breakpoint Show, where we keep you updated with all the latest tennis news and events happening in and around Zanzi. Today we take a look at all the exciting happenings on and off the court in this past month. First up, we have the Free State Growth Point Super 8, which took place from March the 31st to April the 5th, 2023, out in Mangawulu. This event was a platform for up-and-coming tennis players from across South Africa to compete against each other and earn valuable TSA ranking points. The Growth Point Free State Super 8 tournament has been held in Bloemendam for the past six days. Uh, we welcomed 478 players to the City of Roses and uh, yeah, today the tournament concluded with the finals we played across uh, six venues throughout Bloemfontein and uh, yeah, luckily the rain has stayed away and the quality of tennis has been, <laughs> has been fantastic so we've been really honoured to have these guys here and uh, for the whole team for us to, uh, to present this tournament you know, as, as Free State Tennis we're very, very privileged to do that. I'm here today at the Bloemfontein uh, Super 8 Finals Day uh, I'm here to have a an exhibition match with the kids, um, let me say the young men actually. And uh, you know, we're just here to have fun today, you know. Um, I'm, I'm super excited to play with the guys and I'm sure they're excited. So I hope everyone's gonna enjoy it and you know, just make things fun for everyone. I'm, I'm here to uh, one, entertain the people and I'm also here to teach them a lesson, but they, they will also do the same, except the teach me a lesson part. So let's, let's see what happens. Oh, I had it, man. I had it, but uh, I think I think the money got to my head. <laughs> I, I could already feel it, and uh, it kind of got the best of me. But you know, the guys were tough. You know, it, it wasn't easy at all. And um, but I think most importantly, I had fun, and I, I hope they also did. You know, I wanted to beat them very badly. You know, to show them that uh, I'm, I'm not a youngster anymore. But <laughs> I think I think they taught me a lesson. Man. They taught me a lesson, so I let it go, and they took advantage of that. So congrats to the guys, man. This tournament, wow, well, um, it was one of my best, I won't lie. Um, I played really well from the first match, then I was just very focused. Um, my routines, just going into the tournament, my routines, my executing, like, my game plans in all my matches. I think I was just really disciplined. My, my dad actually helped me a lot with my discipline because I was struggling a lot, especially going into semis, I was struggling a lot with discipline, but my dad put me in my place and just helped me with my discipline, yeah. It was pretty good. I think I played really well. I could have served better, um, but I feel like I played a really smart game and I did what I needed to win. I mean, like, I just really, I really wanted to win and um, I put like a lot of pressure on myself before this match and I didn't want to let myself down. I just tried to stay cool and calm, um, try and play my shots, not break first. Uh, she was also playing really good. Um, Especially in our first set where she came back from 5-2, oh, that was good. It was good, um, on the first set I struggled to get my rhythm and then on the second set I just reset and like think was positive and played my game. Um, I'm very happy, um, last year I lost in semi, so it's a big accomplishment for me and I can't wait for nationals, it's going to be very fun. Yeah, I played great, I beat the guys 6-1, 6-1. I felt good, I couldn't miss, and my serves were on point, so yeah, it was a good match. I think this was the perfect match ever, like that, I wouldn't change anything about it. It was a good game all round, both Peter and I were playing really well, although um, I knew Peter had a bit of a, a back problem, I, I think, uh, which might have caused him to play a bit less um, about his skill level, but still, anyway, he played really well, I played really well, just a good game overall. I wanted to win because I've I've been to three other finals in the Super 8 um, like category uh, tournament and I lost all three and this one was just I felt like the one because I came a long way. Parental supports and just in fact just support in general, but especially coming from my dad, um, knowing all the things that he sacrificed for to be here, to to be managing my tennis, um, it just means a lot. Um, and I know he doesn't really, I don't really show it all the time, but I mean, it's really, I really do appreciate all the support that I get from him because I know sometimes there can be a whole bunch of people not supporting me, but I always have him as my one, number one supporter and 
That's the one person I always look to, win or lose. Organisation is really great, um, especially the Players' Lounge, it's, it's amazing. Um, the sports were also really, the organisation really did, they really did try and make it fun for the players. We want to congratulate all the players, especially the finalists and the winners today um, on a fantastic tournament. Um, yeah, the quality of tennis has been fantastic and uh, yeah, best of luck to the players that are that are playing nationals that starts tomorrow. Uh, we've still got some doubles action going on a little bit later, so we look forward to that as well. The tournament saw some of the country's most promising junior tennis players battling it out in their respective categories, and we congratulate all the winners for their outstanding performances. Okay, guys, ready. Moving on, we have the Growth Point Junior National Championships, which is the premier junior tennis event in South Africa, featuring four age groups, namely the under-12s, under-14s, under-16s and under-18s for both boys and girls. This flagship event, sponsored by Growth Point Properties, was played over six days from April the 6th to the 11th, 2023, and saw over 490 junior participants. There has Sponsorship of Growth Point it has played a lot of uh, a big role with the tournaments because uh, we have all the top players. If you look at all the sections, from under 12 boys to under 12 girls to under 18, the top 10 players were playing. So it gives strength to strength, whereby we can see which players need to be selected for teams and when which players are like uh, coming up and all that. So this is an important aspect whereby if we can have such instances, we'll have players going into like the top 10, like Colo Monsi who was playing this event, uh, Lloyd Harry, so this sponsorship really plays an important role with the tournament. Those are the top players in the country, it's our, it's our national championship, so, so we'll have the top players in the country all competing in their age groups uh, to crown the, the national champions. Uh, yeah, that is a flagship uh, event for, for Tennis South Africa and uh, yeah, we're fortunate to host that, that tournament as well in Bloemfontein. It's been here for a lot of years and uh, yeah, we're fortunate with the venues that we have, the bigger venues um, or big venues with, with uh, good courts. So yeah, we look, we look forward to doing this uh, for quite a while to come. It's time to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. The tournament was a highly competitive and intensive affair, with some of the best young tennis players in the country showcasing their skills. After six days of exciting tennis action, the tournament reached a thrilling conclusion and we were treated to a display of the best of upcoming tennis players in South Africa. It was really exciting and I played really good. It was, it was kind of tough and um, I played really well and it was nice. It means um, a lot to me. It's really exciting for my um, career and I hope it goes um, really well with my next um, few years and every, and every tournament. I love the tennis battle, I enjoy every moment of it, so it's really fun and exciting for me. Really tough, Ali played so well, long rallies, but I just stayed aggressive and played my pattern, so it was very really good. It's been a great experience for me and um, it has been my goal to win both so I am very satisfied that I've won both tournaments. I played really good tennis and I achieved everything I wanted to for these two weeks. Well for this one um, the preparation was much better. I trained really hard, I worked really hard for the last like six weeks and I really think it's paying off. I have a lot of confidence now and I've a very good trust in my game now, especially after the win in the Super 8. Like I went, I felt good into the tournament, and yeah, like I didn't lose one set all tournament. Just now in the finals, so yeah, it was good. I'm very happy, and obviously it means a lot to me. I lost out two years ago, so I had to make up for it a bit. But yeah, obviously I'm very happy to get to get the win this year. I had a few mental things that I had to uh, work on through like that we picked up and I had to complete my structure in my game and my tactics and yeah I think the mental stuff uh, really helped me through this week to stay focused and get to win. I think this week I got my intensity up a lot more than the previous week and I sang I think more on the court. 
I'm glad for all the support I got. I know a lot of people were here to watch my match. And yeah, I'm also very proud of myself. It seems straightforward, but it was like lots of tiny battles in and I just really fought well um, to get the victory at the end. It feels very good not letting any other people win, just taking everything in for myself. <laughs> no, but it was a really good experience getting both titles from the Nationals. I think the highlights for the two events was we had uh, some of the junior players playing in the open section like uh, Ruben Dittlek, John Bortma, and they did well with the older players whereby they showed that they can do this and with uh, them playing the older section I think it gave them more motivation when it came to Nationals because the two players also came to like play each other in the final. Some of the events uh, in May, June will have uh, three junior ITFs coming up in Pretoria which are great force. So our players I think they should use that opportunity to enter those events because that will put them on the world map and that will help them when it comes to like uh, the J1 and J2 which will be happening at Kuro within, uh, after the Super 8 in July, the winter circuit. And uh, we'll be having another circuit of ITFs, the Great Threes, one in Pretoria, again at uh, Ritondale, and one at Wanderers. So those are the bigger events which are coming, and the other events will follow within the year. These junior events play a crucial role in the development and advancement of tennis in South Africa, and often serve as a launching pad for future stars for the sport. We would like to express our gratitude to Growth Point Properties for making these events possible. After three successful years of hosting the popular national series, the RCS Rising Star Tennis Campaign is back in 2023 for what is expected to be another exciting edition. This program provides young players in South Africa with opportunities to develop and showcase their skills. It's fantastic that we're on the fourth year and we've been able to grow, I think, every year on top of that. Now, when you look at the growth, there are obviously various different things you can look at at the growth. You can look at participation, you can look at accessibility, uh, you can look at awareness. And I think if we look at uh, the objective that we had when we set out to, to get into this Rising Star Tennis Initiative, those were really some of the things we wanted to do. We wanted to grow uh, tennis at a grassroots level. We wanted tennis to be uh, better known than it was and of course with tennis as, as a sport there are some uh, very clear benefits that it brings at a grassroots level to, 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 to learners um, you know, through, uh, through these different uh, schools with its primary, secondary uh, um, and special, special needs schools. So I think what is exciting is that this year we um, are increasing, relative to last year, we're increasing uh, primary and special schools by close to a hundred new schools that are participating and this uh, so this just borders the participation it brings a new level of, of, of uh, uh, intensity in the competition it brings a new uh, group of individuals that weren't part of this we are increasing our participation from a previously disadvantaged perspective and as that participation increases we get more of um, those schools kind of reaching the higher echelon so I I'm looking forward to seeing this increased and this broader participation. As I mentioned, it's grown over the years. The quality has increased quite significantly. And as we invested in these communities, you also see uh, the talent increasing uh, in those uh, kind of environments. So I think we, we, we're in for another exciting year of uh, Rising Star Tennis. Over the past three years, the RCS Rising Star Tennis Program has impacted the lives of many young individuals throughout South Africa. The initiative fosters inclusivity and accessibility to sports, particularly in previously disadvantaged communities. One thing that we've uh, come to realise quite quickly, it's fine that we make this competition free for entry, that we pay for transport and logistics and, and all of those things. But when it comes to previously disadvantaged schools and schools in rural areas and townships, there's a much more fundamental problem to be solved and that is things like equipment, um, things like the, the, uh, the, just an area to be able to play. So um, in the past year, in 2022, we've, we've spent close to a million rand on um, tennis equipment. Um, we had uh, tennis activations in more than 40 schools in these particular areas 
uh, just to teach the schools. Um, we're also involved in a mentorship program that we have been for years where uh, we've, we've trained mentors to be able to go in there and actually help um, the children play tennis. So it's broader than just having the, 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 you know, the ability to play. It's about how do we give people the means and the access to be able to participate. And I think this is an area that we've uh, invested a lot in in the, in the last few years. And I think the fruits of that labor is seen in that, um, that increase from 14 to 42%. We can look forward to more schools. You can look forward to some great talent from areas that you would not have seen it before um, because they've been equipped to be able to do so. And I think it's going to make for another exciting, uh, exciting tournament. Last year we had a lot of uh, spectators coming to watch uh, and the finals were, were really well represented and televised. So I think we can look forward to, to yet another great year that it builds on the, in the previous three years. The RCS Rising Star Tennis Program has become an essential component in growing tennis and this year's campaign is no exception. It aims to introduce new players to the game while promoting tennis at a school level. It's time to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Ruben de Klerk, born and raised in Porchefstroom, Northwest, developed a passion for tennis at a young age. Fortunately, his family fully supported his love for the sport. I was born in Porchefstroom, lived here my whole life, and my mom and dad started implementing my tennis career from a very young age by throwing balls at me in the yard and playing games like that. What I love about tennis is since a really young age, just hitting a ball with a racket and you know moving and watching a ball any sport with a ball is always my favorite but I just found tennis really natural and I loved playing this since a young age and then when I realized I was good at it I just kept on tra training harder and trying to become the best. Before joining the academy I was mostly playing local tournaments here and maybe traveling to Gauteng but not too far and since I joined the academy I've been traveling way more and playing more tournaments and gaining more experience. I started here yeah, early last year, I did some trials here to see how it was and from the start I was very impressed with all the facilities and the coaching and everything here was just amazing for me and my tennis. Yes, Ruben, you know, started with us a year and a half ago if I remember correctly. He was always a promising player but you know, he was never the best in the country and things like that. But with, um, you know, when he joined our training program, which is obviously a full-time program, you know, and the intensity, you know, increased, you know, of the training. And, uh, uh, you know, that's when Ruben started seeing results, you know. So a very, very talented player, you know, a very intelligent player, which learned very, very quickly. And so we almost immediately got, you know, started get, seeing some, some great results. Obviously, this year has been fantastic for him, you know, making a final in the grade three, um, you know, for which we were still 15 years old at that time. You know, for a 15-year-old, he's is really, really good and up there in the world. And then obviously, you know, which is very important for him for the first time in his life when the South African National Tournament. The young Porch of Strum Sensation's tennis future took a turn when he joined the Rian Fenter Tennis Academy. The academy provides him with the tools and skills that he needs to achieve his career aspirations. So I've made the final of a couple ITFs in Pretoria and also here in Pochefstrom earlier this year. And then I also won singles and doubles at nationals this year. Zimbabwe was a really fun tour for the national team, so I played for South Africa. And we went there to play some a cat tournament and then also to represent the country. It was my first time representing South Africa and my first time in Zim and it was a really nice experience play against new players I haven't played before and also trying to show people my abilities and what I can do on court. No, definitely, you know, our, uh, you know, definitely our program, you know, is, is, is a really intense program which combines, you know, obviously the tennis training and the tactical training, uh, but also our conditioning program, you know, we've, we've, we were really blessed at the Northwest University with an fantastic conditioning coaches and uh, and I think you know from that age from 15 years old it starts to play a major major role 
Um, so Ruben conditioning, you know, together obviously with, with his tennis training and uh, the intensity in the tennis training program, you know, um, you know, he basically started showing results with the hat choosing, you know, for the Zimbabwe team, where he was never actually uh, before, you know, even considered for, for any South African team, you know. Rian is the best coach I've ever worked with. It's really incredible to see what he can do every day and I really admire him. So playing here at the academy with some players that have experienced what I'm trying to achieve is really good for me. So I t usually talk to them and learn from their mistakes and learn from what they have done and then try and build from that. I look up to obviously Rian, my coach, and then someone like Kolo is really nice for me. And then also a lot of pro players like Federer and I, my favourite is Dominic Team. so it's really nice for me to look, to watch TV and watch them play and trying to reach that level. My 2023 plans is we're going to Egypt for the national team again soon and then also playing lots of ITFs all over the world and then trying to build up my my playing profile. I would love to play pro tennis one day and that is ultimately what I'm trying to achieve. Right, obviously this year for Ruben, you know, he, well, we want to get him as high as possible, you know, in the, in the world rankings. So he's going to play a lot of international ITF tournaments. Uh, what, what the budget allows, you know, because that's always a big thing with us is, is the budget. But we're going to make him play as much as possible international tournaments so that we can hopefully get him, you know, under the top 200 by the end of the year. I think it's really possible. So that, you know, when he enters his first year under 18 to be able to be in the top 200, then he can play all the major tournaments. Um, you know, and hopefully, you know, even by next year, uh, if everything goes well, start playing some of the Grand Slams, um, you know, in that year. And then hopefully compete very well, um, you know, and really compete in um, uh, uh, his final year under 18, you know, on all the Grand Slams, so that we can maybe, you know, get somebody that can push through there again. My tennis dream is to become world number one and to ultimately make a living out of tennis. We wish Ruben all the best with his future endeavours. His passion and enthusiasm for tennis are truly inspiring and we are proud to have him as part of our number one sport. That's all we have for you this month on The Breakpoint Show. Join us again next time for more exciting news and updates from the world of tennis in Mzansi. Remember, you can also be part of the show if you want to be featured in our next episode of The Breakpoint Show, simply share your photos and videos of your tennis program using hashtag Breakpoint Show on all social media platforms. You can find us and follow us on Twitter, it is at TennisSA. On Facebook, it is at Tennis South Africa. Or find us on Instagram, it is at Tennis double underscore SA. Until next month, bye for now.